Righty ho you lot, hello, I'm back again. Got another Toro product or a couple of products. Now I, I, you know, you know I you know that I like Toro for some reason. Um I've just sort of taken to this brand and I kind of like what they're doing, I, I like what they do and all that kind of stuff, you know, and, and their products. So this was a promotion that they they done, they done it the first time. Um you know, he said you, you'll get you'll get an umbrella. This is an umbrella in here, and um, they said you get a free umbrella the first time around um, if you buy any accessory. So I went to the accessories and I found some leather care. Brilliant! I get some leather care, but then I found out that the um, it, you know leather care doesn't count as an accessory, so I wouldn't get the free umbrella, which I I was a bit disappointed in because you know it was in the accessories section on the website. Anyway, they sent me an email a little while later, they sent it to everybody, not just me, they sent it to everybody. Um, another promotion coming up, um, you get a free umbrella when you have a minimum spend of 9 99 And the leather care that I bought was 9 99 And this time it did count, and I was over the moon. A um, little bit of a hiccup where I forgot to put the umbrella in the basket and I sent them a message saying it's not working and they were like, did you put the umbrella in the basket? And I was like, oh yeah. No, I didn't. Anyway, so we got ourselves a lovely, great big Toro box. Unfortunately, they just post it in the box. Um, I like to keep the boxes um, of everything. This one's got damaged, unfortunately. That come like that. Um, and it's got tape along there and a sticker on it. But it's good. I'm not complaining. I like to keep the boxes nice, but I'm not complaining because it just means there's less packaging and it's good for the bloody environment um, that they didn't put it in another box. So. Let's turn you lot, well, let's face you lot down, and then you can see this great big box, and you can see the umbrella and the leather care that I've got, and we'll see what they're like, because I've I've opened it up to make sure that it's all in there, but I haven't actually had a proper look yet. So this is going to be like a first look of a Toro umbrella and a packet of leather care. All right, I think this is going to be the best I can do, um, given that I haven't got enough space to be able to, uh, you know, Put you lot far enough back so that you can see the whole shot. So it should be alright. So open this up. This is what you get. I don't know if the promotion. I probably should have checked before I started filming this, but I don't know if the promotion for the free umbrella is still going. Um, I'll put a link to Toro's website in the description. I bought all this with my own money, by the way, not sponsored. Well, I bought this with my own money and got this for free. Um, not sponsored, so I will put a link to the, in the description to the website and you can have a look. If the promo's still going, then brilliant, get, get yourself a free umbrella. If it ain't, then I'm sorry, but you might want to buy yourself an umbrella. You know, I wanted one of these ever since I saw it on their website. They're about 22 quid. Um, and I thought, I, I really want a nice, decent umbrella to put in the car. You know, you never know when you might need an umbrella because you don't just use them for rain, you use them for sun and everything as well in the summer. Especially when you've got kids like I do. Sometimes it's nice to just, if you're sitting on the beach or wherever, you put an umbrella on there. So they're good for everything. And of course, being Toro, it's for posh people, like businessmen and all that, so it's a posh umbrella. But I'm assuming it's going to be properly nice, good quality. That's why I wanted one, for the quality. So before we get onto the umbrella, this is what I had to buy in order to get my free umbrella. I had to buy something and I really wanted some leather care because some of you may know that I've got two phone cases from Toro and a sunglasses case, all leather. So I wanted some leather care to be able to care for them properly. So we've got, it tells you what to do. Use a sponge, apply pea-sized amounts in circular motion onto the leather. And there's loads more information there, instructions on how to use the care and the protect, you know, the, the um, Cleaner and Restorer, sorry, and the Protector. So it's a, it's a package of leather care products. So I haven't even opened this little box up yet. So you've got nice, cute little tins. I suppose you don't really get a lot, but I don't know how long this will last. I'm, I'm, you put a pea-sized bit on each time, so I'm assuming these are going to last. Oh, look. Bit of an air bubble there, unfortunately. That's a shame, isn't it? I thought I was going to get a whole lot, a bit of bit missing. Someone's taken. <laughs> no, it's probably just an air bubble where they put it in. So unfortunately, I ain't got the whole a whole tin's worth. But anyway, so we got that, and I, I'm assuming it's going to last a whole. This is the cleaner and restorer. It's going to last a long time because you don't put a lot on each time. Um, 
Oh, bloody hell. Got hardly any in there, look. What's that all about? You would have thought that would be full up. There's hardly anything in there. Oh well. I was, I was kind of thinking that was going to be a full tin of stuff. I'm assuming it's, uh, it's brand new. I bought it straight from their website. Oh well, that's what you get, that's what you get. Ten quid that cost for two tins. It's both nine ninety nine for both of them. You don't get, you get nothing in them. Well, there you go. I hope they work. Anyway, well, that's that. A bit disappointed that I don't get a lot in them tins, I must admit. For ten quid, I thought they were going to be full tins. Never mind. Right, let's move on. Let's move on to the umbrella. That's what I wanted. So, there we go. It comes nice wooden handle. Look, I'm assuming it's real wood. I don't really know how you would tell if it isn't. I mean, it looks like wood to me. Nicely polished wood. A nice little bit on the end there. I'm assuming this got probably got a name, the little bit on the end, but I don't know what it's called. Um, I've just got in from work, by the way, in case you're wondering if I've got dirty hands. I've washed them as best I can before I started filming this, but I'm not a posh businessman. I don't work in an office, so sometimes my hands get dirty and I can't clean them very well. And we've got a little Toro logo. This is one of the main reasons why I wanted an umbrella, because I like the Toro logo. I love that logo. And I think on the actual umbrella itself, it's got a big one. And I just, I just love it. I love the logo. It's, the, it's a really good logo. And I just wanted a good quality umbrella with a with good logo on it. So I might have to go outside so we can open this. I know it's supposed to be bad luck to open an umbrella indoors, but I'm sure for the sake of this review video, it, it, the, the bad luck would, you know, not come near me. But I don't think I'm going to have enough space to be able to open it inside. Um, we'll have a look. Let me just shuffle around and we'll see if I can find enough space. Right, so... I think I've managed to, we should have enough space in here to open this up, so I don't know if we're about to do a lot, you've got like a, like, like a diamond thing there, so, oh, bloody hell, it's an automatic opening one, it's spring loaded, we ain't got enough space, <laughs> but that's what I wanted, look at that logo, that's what I wanted, obviously it's on the outside, it's a, it's an automatic spring loaded one, I ain't got enough space really to show you like this, let me see if I can um, shuffle around a little bit more. <laughs> that's funny right anyway I'm sure some of you probably found that either ridiculous or, or funny but yeah we've got the nice Toro logo on the outside obviously as well and uh, you know what you look it that feels good quality got a piece of rubber going around the top there not really don't really know what that's supposed to be for um, anyway let's switch back to the other view right you lot oh bloody hell it's opening up again one, one thing I've noticed is the uh, the catch, the catch there, um, it's not spring loaded. Shut up. Next door, if it's selling their house and they've got people showing people around, bloody hell, it's mad out there. Anyway, so this little catch isn't spring loaded. So when you put the umbrella, when you shut it down, you have to pull this out. It doesn't ping back in by itself. So that's something that I've noticed. Look, I'll demonstrate. See, look. Oh, it is spring-loaded a little bit, but not enough. All right, so if I bring that back down, it doesn't clip. It doesn't clip back in. It tries to clip back in place, but it doesn't. I don't know whether you can see that properly. Look. Oh, it did that time. Oh, that time it did. All right, so it's a bit stiff. I wonder if that's just because it's new. I don't know. But it's a, it's. I've, I've pushed it down. I've left it back down. Oh, it's catching now. Oh, no, there it is. Opened up again. So, you have to kind of open it, like, push it like that, and then it catches. So, that's one thing to know. Um, I'm putting that down to the fact that it's brand new and probably a bit stiff. Get rid of that box. It's brand new and probably a bit stiff. But, you know what? This is a nice umbrella. Um, kind of makes up for the fact that I didn't get a lot in me product care stuff but I'm pleased with that but I'll tell you what I am disappointed with the amount of stuff that you actually get in these tins I, I am actually, actually genuinely disappointed in that really am let's have another look at this because I, I, I can't understand 
what that's all about. Sorry that this uh, this video has been a little bit erratic, you lot. It's, uh, yeah, it's a bit difficult trying to review an umbrella in a small space. But <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a bit difficult. So this is the leather protector, long lasting leather protector. Bloody well, better be long lasting for the amount you get in it. I, I can't believe that. Come on, Toro. Are you are you actually serious, Toro? I mean. Look, I really like your products and I really like your company. You seem like great people, but at least fill your tins up. You know? For nine ninety nine. I know they're small tins. I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna mention this again, but it's started to, it's bugging me. <laughs> I was just gonna leave it alone and just do the umbrella and leave the, the this alone. Now I'm I've no I've uncovered that there's nothing in the tins really. But I don't think that's good. I mean, you get more in this one, the Lever Cleaner and Restorer. You, you get more, but there's a great big gap there. What's that all about? I mean, probably when they put this in the tin, it was flat. And obviously, when it's been probably been sitting on its side, so it's all gone to one side and it's left a hole there. But So it probably looks worse than it is if this was to be flat. But then again, you can still fill the tins up, Toro. Come on, for, for $9.99, you, you give us a small little tin, but fill them up, dude. Fill them up. But this one, no, this one's not right. This one's not right. That must be a mistake. That's got to be a mistake. They didn't fill that up properly. But, you know, nobody's perfect. No company's perfect. And production lines and everything have mistakes. So, I dare say that if you was to buy some of this, you would get full tins. And the ones I've got are probably just mistakes. So, don't let that deter you. And uh, that I'll definitely still recommend Toro. I think what I'll probably do is I'll um, I'll send him a message with a picture of the tin and just ask if it's normal to get that much in the tins. And uh, I'll update you lot, or I might put it as a, a what's them call it, you know, so you can see. But anyway, we had a nice. It's a good umbrella. Seems really good quality. The material is good quality. You know, I'm really pleased with it. Not much of a review I know, but I wanted to show you lot just so you can see what it's like and hopefully you lot can get a free umbrella. Um, and I think they also did like, a, they like golf at Toro. They like golf products. They seem to like golf as well. A lot of posh people do like golf, don't they? Um, trust me, I, I, I was involved with building a golf course, um, a big golf course actually, um, from start to finish. And some of the people that come there, they were, uh, you know, they, they were playing golf in suits and ties so I don't know what that's all about but white suits and ties as well <laughs> anyway you lot fantastic stuff righto you lot thanks for watching um, hopefully we'll have some more Toro products in the pipeline there's a few other things that I've been eyeing up on their website that I quite like but a lot of their stuff is like iPad I ain't got iPads or nothing like that you see so um, but a lot of their stuff I have been eyeing up there's a few things on there and a few of their clothing items. I got one of their t-shirts as well that I got free when they did another promo. So it's definitely worth having a look at their website and signing up to like the emails you get because they send you emails to tell you when the promos are on. And they did one where you get, I got a free t-shirt. I haven't shown you all that, but um, I didn't even have to buy anything. I literally just had to go to the thing, put the t-shirt in the bag, put the code in, and I got a free t-shirt. Um, I think it's worth like 20 odd quid as well or something like that. So it's definitely worth going out over there, having a look, and just signing up to them, or doing what, or just checking the website frequently, and you get the promos. You know, you might get something free, or you might get something, you know, free with a product that you buy. If not, just go and buy some stuff because they seem to sell good stuff. So I'll catch you later on. Have a fantastic day, and I'm going to go and have some dinner because it's a Friday night and I'm absolutely starving. See you later, you lot.